Nice. Nice. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. So we got the Oxdean Marine Scorpion Outrigger over on the small bench. I'm actually working on the Ariane. Got the motor mounts installed on the big bench. Working on props over here. So um, I, I, I needed to actually um, address a little problem that this boat had out the box. It's not so much a problem as... I mean, it's not so much a problem. It, it's just going to slow us down and maybe give us a little bit of bounce back here on the transom. So, uh, as you can see, the water pickup, you see how it's like um, raised, okay? Uh, you want those to be like flush with the bottom, you know what I'm saying? So, we're actually going to file and sand those uh, flat so it don't, you know, slow the boat down, create any like lift or bounce or erratic handling so i uh, stick around big b what i clad rc and you can see the the water pickup there's a little a little little lip right there okay so i'm gonna i'm gonna file this flat i'm gonna file them flat actually actually you know what you know what i'm gonna do there's a little there's a little ledge back here. I'm gonna file the front of it so it has a nice transition. I'm gonna leave that little lip back there. That's what I'm gonna do. It'll be like a little like a little uh, break, like um, like a, like a step, if you will, on a sponson. You you feel me? So it'll it may actually want to lift the boat that break back there it'll have it'll it'll you know like a like a like a catamaran it'll create little bubbles you know and lift maybe lift or break the tension before it hits the prop there you know and uh yeah let's do it that's what i'm going to do so i'm just going to take my file on the forward part you know make me make it like a little ramp you know so it has a nice transition in the on the forward part. And then it'll have a break on the back. You can always file it flat later on. It's what the hobby's about. Trying new things. Who knows? Who knows? It might make it stupid fast. <laughs> Basically just using a file being extremely careful you know i don't want to go into this carbon fiber into the ski itself so I'm carefully carefully filing this okay i've done a lot already off camera um i'm also using this little sanding board it's a piece of g10 with some sandpaper glued to it kind of kind of getting like down to the nitty gritty so to speak in the front you know using the corner so i don't dig into the carbon fiber like i said and i'm trying to make like a, a nice little water pickup ramp <laughs> a little micro step you know a little micro step here and uh and i've actually kind of taken this this is 500 here on a on a block and i'm kind of going like this you know I actually want to sand and rough up this 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 rear ski. I don't exactly want this rear ski like super smooth. I mean, I want it smooth. Don't get me wrong, but uh, like all my boats, I, I, I slightly lightly rough up the bottom. Breaks the surface tension. You know, uh, like on a slick calm day, a rough, like a slightly roughed up bottom is gonna, my opinion, outperform. A boat that has a, a slick waxed bottom on a slick calm day you know on a rough day it don't much matter you know what I'm saying but uh on a glassy day slightly roughed up it, it'll break the surface tension and, and 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 she won't stick to the water you know it won't stick to the water quite as bad 
so my fastest boats have a roughed up bottom not even kidding this would be a fun little experiment I, I really doubt we're gonna notice any change you know uh, well I do think we'll notice a change from the the smooth transition to the water pickup opposed to the big break we had out the box you know so I think we'll see a, a change there we might not experience as much bounce who knows we might experience a little bit more bounce with them with them uh, with the break back here but I mean this is simple enough we can just sand it all flat once we're once we're done with our little experiment you know it's not a big break should not make that much of a difference it would really suck because I'm about to do some speed runs with it I have this uh you know 17 16 on it would kind of suck if we go out and do a speed run with this prop bring it home and then file sand them completely flat and then we lose like five miles per hour wouldn't that be something <laughs> and then I'm like and then I'll be like kicking myself in the ass like damn I should have left that break in the back you know so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of finalize this and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done all right so I'm pretty much done pretty much done I got the front of them like a nice transition you know I don't feel any lip in the front none and then you can see I left some in the back that little lip back there you know tried to keep these flat to one another you know what I mean like in and, and, and like a, a flat ramp to the to the to the brake back there um, I, I'm just playing this is me playing with my boat okay um, if you want it, if you're going if you have this boat I recommend just taking it all the way flat just take it flat you know um, I'm just tinkering and experimenting we're gonna run it see what it does and I'll probably end up taking them flat, you know, unless I really like the way it's handling, then I'll leave it. Um, I did take the 500 here and I, I just ran it across the ski. I didn't even put no pressure on it, you know. I just run it across there a couple times and uh, this is 500, so I just kind of did that number there on my pickups just to knock any burrs down, you know. But um, I, I didn't I didn't put any pressure on it. I just wanted to kind of lightly rough up this rear ski. I was thinking about doing the same thing here, but I'm not because these things are so perfect. I might I might I might do that number there. Well, I just did it, so let's do it on this one. I might do a little bit better job of it off camera here. I don't want to. These are perfect to each other. I've checked it with the um with the angle finder the angle uh, digital level box and they are perfect so is this this right here is perfect all of it's perfect to each other i just had it all on there so um yeah i'll let you guys go we're going to test this the next time out you know i think it'll be a cool little test and then we'll knock it all the way down flat or not so uh yep we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching link in the description big b we're in clay rc